Hey guys, as we've mentioned on previous videos, online shopping is hugely popular in Japan. Usually what happens is the postal service or a courier service will turn up at your doorstep, ask you for a signature and hand over whatever it is that you've bought. They also have, sometimes people have big letterboxes like that one where normal mail goes in the top flap and then bigger items can go in the flap below it for things that don't need to be signed for. So that's quite common, pretty big letterbox basically. However, there's a few other systems as well. So for example, at this house, you can see top left hand corner there, that's a normal mailbox slot, fairly standard sort of mailbox slot in Japan. Just push through that and go straight through. And then there's this thing. And these things are usually, there's different systems. They can be left unlocked and the the courier guy comes along, puts the big parcel in there, pushes it closed and locks it. Or they have different readers or codes or different ways that they can do it so that the courier guy can put the, the thing in there but other people can't get their hands on it. So here's a brand new house here. This is a sort of a different version of the same thing. So open that big flap there, that big door, and in there there's a normal mail slot for normal mail and then a big slot or a big door for for packages and then the other side of that wall of course is inside the house which is very convenient for the for the people living in the house isn't it and this is a apartment building so there's the normal mailboxes there for the normal mail and then down here they've got these things which are electronic and have coded systems that the courier guys can leave bigger items in there and they put a code in there so when the the person who it's the recipient comes along they can just put their code in and get it back out of the box so there's lots of different variations there's code reader barcode reader ones and all sorts of different ones codes electronic codes all sorts of stuff so clever isn't it anyway there it was more videos coming soon